section from section one is we're going to have a look at this um, matrix K. We're given K is a skew symmetric matrix. And we're going to worry about what skew symmetric means. And I plus K is non-singular. That simply means that it has an inverse, which means this expression here is well defined. And we're going to prove that this product here, this I plus K inverse times I minus K, is an orthogonal matrix. So the point of this particular problem, and it has a number of very useful things about this problem. It's good practice for you to, pl to play with, with matrices. And remember that matrix multiplication is not commutative. So you can't cancel things from one side of an expression with something on the other side. You've got to treat the matrices very carefully. The second useful um, fact about this problem is to remind you what the word orthogonal means and how to use that idea. And also to remind you about that basic fact. In fact, let me put up these little basic facts firstly before we start the problem to make sure we're clear. Basic fact is that if you've got A and B um, are square matrices that are invertible and you take the inverse, then that's the same as B inverse, A inverse. That's very important. And also, if you've got AB similarly but AB transpose, that's B transpose, A transpose. So that's very important. Also, remembering what these words mean, to be orthogonal, so Q orthogonal, Q doesn't necessarily have to be square, although it will be in this problem. So Q orthogonal means that Q transpose times Q is the identity. Skew symmetric, well, that's a technical word, to be skew symmetric. To be symmetric means that when you take K transpose, you get K. And to be skew symmetric means that K transpose is minus K. You might like to have a think about skew symmetric matrices. In particular, have a think about what the diagonal entries of a skew symmetric matrix have to look like. Anyway, so putting together all of these bits and pieces, we're going to take this matrix here and we want to show it's orthogonal. So to show it's orthogonal, I have to take its transpose, multiply it by itself, and we have to show the identity matrix comes out. Got to be very careful because matrix multiplication is not commutative, so we've got to be careful how things cancel. So, I'm going to start by looking at Q transpose Q. So that means I'm going to be looking at A plus K, all inverse, times A minus K. And I'm going to take the transpose of all of that expression, and then I'm multiplying that by the expression itself. So that's I plus K or inverse times I minus K. So we get a rather complicated mess here. Now, in keeping in mind this basic fact, the transpose of the product is the product of the transposes backwards. So it's I minus K transpose, that's got to go first. And I'm also going to use the fact that the transpose of the inverse is the inverse of the transpose. Just notice that there. Might I add that to our basic, our list of basic facts here? That A inverse or transpose is the same as A transpose inverse. This one I can just copy down at the moment. So this is I plus K inverse times I minus K. Okay, now. I've got to do something with these transposes. So I transpose is just the identity matrix. K transpose is K transpose. And this is I plus K transpose. And that's still all inverse. And here I've got I plus K inverse I minus K. Now at this stage, I need the fact that K is skew symmetric. So I'm going to go back to that piece of information. and tells me I can replace the K transpose with minus K. So that simplifies to I plus K, and this simplifies to I minus K, and that's all inverse now, times I plus K inverse times I minus K. Now the temptation at this stage, a temptation you should strongly resist, is to cancel out this one with that one and that one with that one and say, there I finish, because that's not correct. It certainly will happen that this product is going to be the identity matrix, but not because, not for that reason. 
So we need to be very careful here. That's a, a trap very easily, you could easily fall into at this particular point. When I look at this, I notice that I've got two matrices that I've got the inverses of. So I'm going to kind of bracket those together, and I'm going to think of those together, and I'm going to be using this idea here. So I've really got the product of the inverses of two matrices. So that means I can take that one, I plus K, times I minus K, big bracket, or inverse. So there I'm using this basic fact here. The product of the inverses is the inverse of the, uh, the, the, the inverse of the product is the product of the inverses but backwards. Well, now what, what does one do with this? Because this sort of, you still can't cancel very much here, but this sort of catches my eye at that point because I just always remember in the, from high school, the difference of two squares should be uh, heavily cemented in your algebra, even when you're doing matrices. So I'm going to write this as I squared, which is I minus K squared, and then that's all inverse. And now, that, and that's the, the tricky step, is that I'm now going to refactorize this, but I'm going to refactorize it the other way. So that's the tricky step in this problem. So I'm going to refactorize this as I minus K times I plus K, all inverse, I minus K. And you can check if you put, bring all these together, I'm going to put a big bracket there. If you bring these back together again, you do get back to there. And now I use this inverse uh, rule we had here. So this is now I plus K times I plus K inverse. So I put that one first with its inverse, and then that one, and its inverse. And now the matrices and their inverses are next to each other. And so now we can do the cancellation. We couldn't do it back here. We need to do this little trick here to get the matrices and their inverses adjacent. So that's now the identity matrix times the identity matrix, which is the identity matrix. And therefore, Q is orthogonal. Now, that's a nice exercise for you to go back and try and see if you can do yourself. It's a good way of reminding yourself about these basic facts about inverses and transposes. Also to be careful about cancellation and also using some of these other basic facts that inverses and transposes, uh, uh, you can flip them around. And also reminding yourself what all the problem is.